What's up, guys? It's Chance. Um, I know this is something I have not talked about in a long time. But this is something that guys need to understand. Who know about my music but don't know why I can't be signed. There's a reason. And granted, yes, it's discrimination. I agree, it is discrimination. And it's not fair, but there really there's nothing I can do. And for those of you that really don't understand, I will explain it all to you. And just a minute here, don't invite one more person here. There we go. Now you guys are probably wondering why I can't be signed to a label and why I'm not making any money from it. As stupid and fucked up as it is, there's a very good reason. Well, for them, it seems like a good reason, but for myself and you guys, it's not. And that is the fact that it's because of my physical appearance. They want me to change how I am. They want me to be somebody I'm not. They will not sign me because of my physical appearance and because I refuse to be the robot that they want me to be. And you guys are probably asking, well, dude, you don't need a paying label. Like, you're too good for that. Yes, I do need a paying label. The reason why? Exposure. Marketing. They can get my name out there faster than I could. They can book shows in my area for me, which is stuff I can't do. Like, you guys don't understand how many fucking demos I send out to record labels every day. Especially that song, Please Notice Me. I sent that to over a hundred different labels. And they reacted with me, and I've spoken with them. And every single one of them has said the same damn thing over and over. We will not sign you because of your physical appearance. You do not have the looks that we're looking for. That's why I can't be signed because of my physical appearance. When there's other fucking artists and bands out there that have just as worse looks as me. And Eugene, I see what you're saying, dude, but I can't forget that. I cannot forget about these labels because I need these labels to get my career going. All right, I busted my ass since 2010 to get to where I'm at. I even overcame a freaking vocal blowout the other day. And at that point, I thought I was finished. I thought I was done. And I know what you guys are thinking. Well, if you're doing music, like, why would you want to do, you know, racing style gaming or racing and blah, blah, blah. Well, believe it or not, because racing is what I'm best at. That's what I excel at more than anything else. But the reason why I can't do pro style racing is because I don't have any money. I have to take care of it. And I don't have a license. And I can't afford a car or anything to do any of that. Otherwise, I would. And I know what you guys are already going to say. You're going to be like, well, why don't you do it You know, in game? That's what I've been doing. I've proven that I can hang on a professional.
but because of new of YouTube's new fucking policies and shit, I can't fucking accept any kind of paid sponsorship until I hit a hundred thousand subs and over two million views. Because of their new fucking policy for creators. Their new monetization policies and shit. Because the other day I had to turn down a very big sponsorship from Hoonigan. Because I don't have the views or the subs that I need. And if you guys don't know who Hoonigan is or what or who Hoonigan is. They are a professional drifting company. And this company was offering me quite a bit actually. They were offering to send me a full setup. We're talking Xbox One X. Um, all the games that their cars are in and sponsored in. And they were willing to pay me for each video I do. But I had to turn it down because I don't have the subs or the view count. And is that fair? Not really. And believe it or not, like, doing videos is a lot harder than people realize. Like, because you have to constantly put out good content every time. Like, you can't have shitty content. Like, in order to get people to watch, you have to have that HD quality, which I don't have at this point, but I do have solid quality videos. But the trick is getting people to sub. Nobody subs anymore because they're all worried about their own channel and doing this and doing that. That's why I can't do what I'm really and truly good at doing as a career, which is racing. I broke the world sprint record on Palm Hill on Need for Speed Underground 2 with a minute 56.7 or a minute 56 seconds using my Mazda RX-7 drift team on a sprint course downhill. I've done that multiple times on there. I have taken those records and I have beaten them. And yet people don't seem to realize that I didn't mod my game. I just busted my ass training and practicing. That's how I got as good as I am is by practicing. And Susanna, that's something you don't realize. I'm not complaining. I'm really not. A lot of these people don't realize why I can't use And it's a legitimate reason. Like for me, I can't be signed to a pro label or to a professional signing label because of my physical appearance. As unfair as it is, that's the fucking reality of it. That's the reality of what I deal with every day. Assign me because of the fact that I have physical appearance that they're not looking for. So how is that complaining? That is not complaining. That's just the fucking reality of things. That's what I deal with every day. And people are always telling me I don't need a label. Yes, I do in order to get my career really going in the direction. Everybody's always telling me every day how good I really am. But the reality is, according to those labels, yeah, I'm good. But looks-wise, I'm not what they want. All these artists out there, and I'm not willing to change myself. 
I'm not willing to change my appearances or get that fucking plastic surgery shit they want me to do just to get signed. I shouldn't have to do that. Instead of looking at my physical appearance, they should be looking at music and how well I'm doing. Since I released my song, Please Notice Me, it's gotten over 400 views and over 6,000 plays on YouTube alone. And since I released it on to Spotify, and just as many plays, just as many. I might not have that many listeners, but I've gotten just as many plays. And every day I am being told by people that what they're doing is discrimination. And they're right. It is discriminating. It's degrading and it's discrimination, 110%. So no, I'm not complaining or making excuses. That's the fucking reality of what I deal with every day. Is that, that's the reality of what I face and deal with on a day-to-day basis from these fucking labels and these record companies. Because they all want these fucking bullshit rappers that have nothing to say. That's all they want are these bullshit fucking rap fucking sing or rap to save their fucking lives. Sorry, I'm not about that life. I'm not another fucking robot. I will not rap or sing about drugs, gangs, and drive-by. My music is personal. My music is meant to help people. I'm sorry that I'm not a fucking robot. I will not conform to what these labels want me to be. Because I shouldn't have to change for that. I should not have to change who I am just to be signed to a label. Why should I have to change my physical appearance? Why should I have to do that? And a lot of you guys watching probably don't understand my day-to-day life. Every day I wake up, I help take care of my mom. While our roommate goes to work during the daytime, I help take care of her. I work on my music every day in hopes that I can change things around for I bust my ass writing day in and day out and recording till I fall asleep on my keyboard every day. But what does it get me from these labels and these companies? Discrimination and hate. You guys don't really, you really don't understand how degrading that is for me. I've had multiple companies tell me I'm not good enough. I don't fit their apparel or what they're looking for appearance wise. Well, I'm sorry I'm not the best looking. But damn it, I deserve a shot just like everybody else. Because there are people out there like David Bowie who didn't look the best. The man made a fucking icon out of himself. So for those of you that are thinking I'm, that are thinking I'm complaining, I'm not griping, I'm not bitching, and I'm not complaining. The reality of what I face every day. Because not very many people understand what I go through every day. They don't understand how many labels bash on me and rip me up 
and try to tear me down every day. And how many times I've wanted to quit because of that. Because I'm tired of the hate. I'm tired of being belittled. And I'm sure as fuck tired of being discriminated against. Like I said, is that fair? No. It's not fair at all. Like, I've had random people come up to me on the street telling me how good my music is. I've had that happen multiple times. And these are random people that I don't even know that are listening to my music. And when I have to sit there and tell them that I'm not signed because I'm being discriminated against by these labels, they say the same thing you all say. That's not right and it's not fair. And so, like I said, I'm not complaining or anything at all. I'm just telling you guys the reality of what I go through every day. Of what my day-to-day life is like in the music industry. And what I go through. So you guys can take that as complaining or whatever you want. But the reality is, I'm not complaining. I'm showing you and telling you guys what I go through because of these labels and what I face and why it is that I'm not being signed like I need to be I need to be done that I need to be having done and the legitimate very real reason as to why I can't be signed and like I said Is it fair that I get that, you know, they won't sign me because of my physical appearance? No. I've had labels tell me straight up on FaceTime that I look ugly, that have laughed in my face. Because they see me and they hear my music and they start laughing at me. Like, they're not laughing at my music, but they're laughing at me because of my physical appearance. And like I said, is that fair? No. But that's just the reality of what I deal with every day. And if you guys think that that's complaining, that's on you. But honestly, that's not complaining. That's being straight up honest. That's showing you and telling you guys what I face every day from all these major record labels that you guys say I need signed to. And is there anything I can do about it? Not really. There's not much I can do against these labels. Yes, I know I need to be signed to a paying label. I get that. But there is nothing I can do. Unless somebody finds a label that will focus on my music and sign me without me having to pay anything and is willing to give me a shot to get to where I need to be, then what can I do? I have no money. All I have is a mic and my ability to sing and my music, and that's all I've got. So, like I said, you guys want to continue to bash and say that what I'm doing is complaining? You need a fucking reality check. Because what I'm doing is not complaining at all. I'm showing you guys the reality of what I deal with. And how degrading that makes me feel. Because of what these labels put me through. So like I said, take it how you want it. I don't care. 
But I'm just being straight up blunt and fucking honest. So if you guys want somebody to be mad at, don't be mad at me. Be mad at those fucking labels that treat me like shit and will not sign me because I don't have the right looks or the money to go along with it. Be mad at them. Start taking your anger out on them and telling them to stop their shit instead of fucking sitting here telling me to stop complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm being honest. You guys want somebody to bitch at? Bitch at those fucking record labels. Not me. Because I did nothing wrong. That was all on them. Not me.